Another weekend, another card show. We have the Melbourne Card Fair, which is on tomorrow in Doncaster. Sydney people, you guys have the Hobby Hangout on tomorrow and I'm extremely jealous, but it's sort of good knowing that we do have a card show on tomorrow. But one of my aims this year is hopefully to get down to the second one that's on later in the year. Currently watching the footy. Uh, Saints up by four goals against the Dogs. Not sure if many would have predicted that. Uh, getting ready, got a little bit Marie Kondo, if you guys have read that book, where you're trying to clean out a lot of things in your life. And I've got a lot of base cards at the moment. So I've decided to, you know, do some, I don't know, not really repacks, but I've said this in a video before, but more packs that I just want to give out to kids tomorrow. So I've uh, got a sticker of my logo and then also uh, have a QR code straight to the YouTube channel. So a little bit of marketing, but just to get rid of my cards as well. I've got thousands of base cards. Uh, so I've chucked some Pokemon, baseball, NBA, AFL. There is a wide range in here. It's quite thick as well. Uh, there's nothing special in here, but yeah, just want to get rid of some of these cards. I do want to set up at a future card show. I'm still deciding between the three card shows that we do have here in Melbourne. Just kind of weighing up in terms of the audience and maybe table costs and all that sort of stuff. I do also think it'd be really good content for you guys. I have been watching a lot of Seller's Perspective YouTube videos and it's really motivated me and inspired me to perhaps set up in the future. I don't know, I think I just have a bit of a fear of rejection. Like everyone has that, you know, I'm gonna set up at, at a card show and nothing's gonna sell or something like that. It's quite irrational really. But yeah, just stay tuned for that. And as you can see in the background, I do like my sports cards relatively organized and I am working on a video about how I do organize my sports cards. All right guys, let's take you along for the journey. Look who it is, back from the dead. Yeah. He's recovered, mate. He's recovered. He's magically recovered for the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Big event. Got my boy Yaron here, buying this beautiful cat. Bit of a story here behind it. It was up on auction and it was going for 150 bucks. And I'd message him and he was the top bidder. And I was like, that's, that's way too much of a steal. And uh, he ended up winning it and then he ended up on selling it to me. So I'm happy with that. That's it. Not really a big believer in cat, but hopefully we can try and cat. move it. We've got the uh, Don Bradman cars, vintage from the 30s, older than us, mate. 1932. Probably the oldest thing in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this guy. Mm. Houston Roberts legend who spurned us. Stephen Adams, not bad. Vooch. Again. Chandler, Chandler Bain. Ross. That's an Edith Cantor. Edith Cantor. What's your favourite card in your collection? In the, do you want to show your jar to the camera? Unreal. It's a gorgeous card. Did you trade up for it? Yeah. What'd you trade for it? Um, so basically, the story is behind this. Yeah. I used to just buy cards from Cherry Collectibles. Yep. Like, go in the piles. Yep. And then I'll go to different stores and keep trading up. Yep. And then now I'm up to this. Unbelievable. Well done, mate. Yeah. You've killed it. Just trade it up from buying in stores to the Jar Morant. I rate that. Well done, mate. It's like 60. Would you have a price on the Dwight and Harden? No, you can do it. You may, you're, you're the seller. You can. All the fun of negotiating. That's all you. It's all me. It's all you. I don't want to. I'm cracking. Give me a second. Let's see if I'll, I'll see if there's anything else I want, and then. What would I pay for it? Well, how much was your Brook Lopez? Do you remember? Okay, and you've got. Okay, you've got that as well. All right. I made, I made jokes on my friend's last break. Someone asked if they're in a big autos pool. And I said, nah, just the Scotty Barnes. It's tiny. <laughs> no big auto. <laughs> Scotty Barnes. Not like a Kareem auto. How much? Do you have an Instagram? Do you want to plug it? Or do you have do you have anything? Any socials? No. You're just a TikTok. What's your TikTok? Hoops with Steph Curry. Hoops with Steph Curry. All right, make sure you go follow him on TikTok. He's got two different people uh, going at him. You want $40 for that? Would you take it? No, I wouldn't take it. What would you counter at? $70. $70. All right. Would you mean the middle at $55? What about 60 bucks. 60 bucks. 55. I've come up from 40. 
You made me in the middle at 55 from your 70. Uh, done. done? Good deal. There you go. Thank you. It look good in the PC. So we're looking at the final. I can't even get the thing in. Dwight, James Harden. Look at the look at the stack of cards he's got. He's just ready to hustle. I bought into him just because I thought like he was such a good human. Like all the stories coming out of college, like he's you know, come from a rough childhood and all this sort of stuff, and then yeah, massage, <laughs> parlor sort when of it stuff. Comes to his cards though, I, I genuinely still think they're underpriced. Yeah. Because at one point he was being compared to Mahomes, yeah. and now it's Have you just seen like, how, like the difference in his prices compared to Mahomes are crazy. Yeah, like it's ridiculous now, even more so. I actually believe in him as a footballer, I'm not necessarily a person. No, I, but a footballer. I was both. Now it's more the football ability, but I literally had, uh, I still have it, a stained glass prism. They're very, very, very short printed. Paid six hundred dollars US. Yeah. One point was at like fifteen hundred, yeah. and then massage stuff comes out. <laughs> Oh, I think it's like 200. I don't even know what it is. It's a case here. It's really nice. It's like... Yeah, stained glass is super nice. The Mahomes one goes for so much. Like, I think... I don't know. It might be a long time ago, but I feel like it went for five figures at one point. I don't know if it still does now, but... Yeah, it's so frustrating. And he didn't look good last season. But again, he's had a year and a half off. Yeah, I was like, two years not playing. Yeah. I genuinely think by the end of this next football season, his card prices from right now where they are will at least be 2x what they are right now. Yeah. Like, I'm very confident in that. Yeah. They're so cheap. Well, we got that on record now. We've they got uh, so cheap. We got shout out to Shiny Card so Traders. Cheap. He said Deshaun Watson is going to 2x by the end of the from season today. from today. Uh, Dion, you got 20 on these. Do you price it? you 15 for them? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, the, who was it? Who rated the $20 ones? I had like. I had Deli, Deli rookies in there. Oh, really? Yeah, like, oh. It took them all out. Early yeah. bird. So, so trade offer currently, we got Keita, Bates, Diop, and the Leaf. And you want the LeBron. I really I reckon, Dion, I, I, I reckon you should take that. I'm, For me, I'm not really a fan of the actual place itself. <laughs> so, I really yeah. want that. I respect the hustle. It's a gorgeous LeBron card, yeah. though. What's, what's the auto? Shaq. Oh, Shaq. Okay, Shaq. yeah. Shaq. Couldn't Shaq. see it. On card. All right, we just got done up here at the Melbourne Card Fair down in Doncaster. Uh, got some nice cards here, not not too much, but um, yeah, really happy and enjoyed my two or three hours that I was down here for. So yeah, let's run through them. The so first card up, I did explain the story behind this already, but the Cat Select Tie Dye RPA BGS9 Autograph 10. This one was $225. I'm not really the biggest Cat fan. He's burnt me a fair bit, uh, other than when I predicted that he would win the three point shootout, but. Uh, yeah, I think it's still a nice, very nice card, very beautiful design and a nice patch there. And he's back playing as well. So I've got these three for $15 off my man Dion. Uh, I've dealt with him numerous times now, but the Grant Hill National Treasures, Treasures triple jersey card, uh, Chris Paul jersey card from Innovation. And then we have Steve Nash, a certified jersey card. Also found this, no comps on it, but Chris Mullen tie-dye select courtside USA. $10 for that one, played on the Dream Team. Gorgeous card there. And then this one was for sticker price. Uh, Will Brody, he had sold quite well on my eBay store. I've actually had a couple of his signatures go quite well. Uh, we have Tim English, sold Ruckman, one of the best young Ruckman in the uh, competition right now. $25 for that one. And then the one I'm most happy about actually, Andrew Brayshaw was pretty close to winning the Brownlow last season. Future Force signature, not his main signature that everyone goes for, but $100 for that one I thought was fairly solid. Uh, and I think it's the Platinum one as well because it is 004 out of 50. So yeah, I was really I was really stoked with this one out of anything. I think if anything, out of anything that I've bought today, I was probably most stoked about this one. One of the better young midfielders in the game at the moment. And yeah, 004 out of 50, I think is a fairly, fairly solid purchase. And last card I did get was the James Harden Dwight Howard dual gold standard patch out of 25. Got this one from this little kid who I coined as the hustler. He was making deals uh, and respect to him. Um, but yeah, got this one for $55 cash in the end. Uh, the original seller who had this was selling it for $40, so he ended up making a little bit of a profit on it. He actually traded for this card, so I actually think he made it even more profit than that. 
Um, but yeah, that's why I was kind of firm on the $40 to $55 range. But yeah, that's it. Another Melbourne Card Fair done. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I tried, I was by myself today, so it was a little bit of a different perspective in terms of recording. I am trying to put myself out there a little bit more. I still struggle with that sort of aspect. I know I, my face is out there on YouTube and all that sort of stuff, but I really struggle when there's a lot of people watching uh, in person. I don't know. Again, I just really, really struggle with that. As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you do check out the Melbourne Card Fair next time it is on next. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in future videos. Take care.